Today's home workout is a four minute standing ab routine. Now, as your qualified online trainer, Lucy Winnery, I'm here to help you really now in this video develop really good core strength. So we're gonna be working the abs, we're gonna be working through the waist, all standing, we've literally got four moves and I'm gonna be doing it with you in real time. Now what I would say, it's always a good idea just to make sure you have warmed up before you do any workout. So if you haven't, always just hit pause, march on the spot for say 20 seconds and then you and I are gonna start working on your core. Okay, let me just quickly show you the four moves that we're gonna be doing today. So the first one, we're literally gonna be doing an opposite elbow to knee crunch. We do 30 seconds, one leg, 30 on the other. Then the next one in a split stance, we're doing a knee pull in crunch. And we're gonna do this super slow. We do 30 seconds, one leg, 30 on the other. Then the next move, we're doing a one twist, one twist, knee crunch, knee crunch. And then the final move, we're literally gonna be doing side bends and we're alternating with four to four punches, simple as that. So let's get into it right now. Okay, so let's come into that position for the first one. Knees are bent, tummy muscles pulled in, arms up here. Let's go three, two, and one. So bring that knee across and back. So the knee comes over. All right, and what we're really doing is try and really twist into it. So we're bringing that elbow across. So where we're working here is your internal and external obliques. We're also really working your TA, known as your transverse abdominus, that deepest core muscle. And don't go for speed, go for quality. All right, that's good. Twist that in and reach that round. Let's now change legs, take that to the opposite elbow to knee for me, keeping that going. So we're just doing four minutes, you and I working on your core. Now this is something you could do with me every single day to really strengthen through those abs. All right, keeping that going. So belly button tight to the spine, really keep that focused. All right, that's it. Okay, so let's just go a couple more. Then we're gonna change into that second move. So now, take that foot behind, arms in front. Now drive that knee in and take it back. And really pull those tummy muscles in as tight as you can. So you're drawing that knee in and back. So stomach stays tight. And what we're doing here, we're really using what's known as stabilizing. So really using those deep core muscles for your stabilization. Keeping that going. I keep just changing position to show you. All right, take that now to the other leg for me. Arms in front, tummy tight, draw it in and back. But we're keeping that slow and controlled. So this is all about really developing core strength and core stability. Okay, that's good. Well done. So just four minutes, that's all we're doing. And you will really notice the difference if you really do this properly with me and make it consistent. All right, next exercise, arms up, twist one side, then to the other, give me a knee lift and a knee lift, but really keep that upper body nice and straight, tummy in, really pull it in as you draw that knee up. Take it side to side, knee comes up and up, that's good, and reach that across. So this one, because we're not doing just one side. We're doing this one for a full duration of 60 seconds. Knee up and up and twist it around. And you will feel a little bit out of breath. So it's a little bit like light cardio. And this is why doing standing abs is way more effective than crunches on the floor or doing the plank. All right, that's good. And let's keep that going. Doing really well. Nearly finished on this, then we're on the last minute. Knee up and up, twist it round and round. Okay, take those feet wide, tummy is tight. And let's go four, take it three, go two and one. Now hold it here, punch it across, four, go three, go two and one. Take it four, let's go three, two and one, punch it across for me, four, go three, two and one. Now whilst you're doing this, really think, keep that Pull in as tight as you can, and four, and then punch it one. Let's go two, three, and four. And as I said, this isn't about doing it fast, four. Let's go three, take it 
two and one. But you are pulling in those tummy muscles and you're really exaggerating with your range of motion. Four, take it three, go two and one. And again, bring it across four. Let's go three, two and one. And reach as far down. Three, go two and one. Four more punches. Four, go three, two and one. And guess what? That is your four minute core conditioning ab workout done. So what I would say, you could do this literally every single day. It's gonna really help strengthen through your core. And if you are someone perhaps who's wanting to look at losing a little bit of weight around this area, then don't forget I have got a whole series of really super effective workouts for that. I will leave a link here, here as a playlist. Um, but if you liked today's video, please definitely give it a thumbs up. If you're not ready, hit subscribe. And then I'll see you back here for another one of these workouts. And I'm doing these as a series as well. So you and I always finish on one of these. There is your high five. And I'll see you back on my channel tomorrow.